Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. We are back again with another fiery hot take that's sure to get people riled up. Today I've got to call out Meghan Markle for her latest publicity stunt that shows she is nothing but a selfish, spotlight hungry diva. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now you all just saw the headlines, just hours before the brave Princess Kate made her triumphant return to public life at Chooping the Color after battling cancer, Meghan had her little polo buddy Nacho Figueras shilling her tacky lifestyle brand online. Posting pics of freaking raspberry jam and dog treats when Kate should have had all eyes on her courage and strength. Give me a break. This is just the latest example of Meghan's desperate antics to stay relevant and steal attention from the real royals doing the actual work. Kate is out there showing her integrity and service to the monarchy after going through hell with cancer treatments. And what's Meghan doing? Hawking overpriced junk that nobody needs or wants from her hasn't been American Riviera vanity project. Are you kidding me with this? Kate puts on a brave face after chemotherapy to honor the crown and her duties. And Meghan has the audacity to try and distract from that with some dopey product launch? For jams and dog biscuits of all things, it's just so tackily on brand for Miss Former Cable Actress to cheapen such a poignant moment with crass commercialism. You'd think after getting booed at recent royal events and having those humiliating South Park parodies, Meghan might show some self-awareness, but nope. She's doubling down on being the cringeworthy Duchess of Desperation, shamelessly pandering for publicity no matter how inappropriate the timing or context. What's so maddening is how Meghan is constantly forcing these comparisons with Kate that she can never hope to measure up to. As Piers Morgan rightfully stated, whenever Meghan does anything, she just invites comparison with the Princess of Wales, and I'm afraid that in that comparison, Meghan Markle doesn't come off very well. He's not kidding. While Meghan was a fame-whoring actress born into luxury, Kate comes from a decent, hard-working middle-class background. She had no training or ambitions to be royalty, yet through dedication and humility, Kate has embodied morality and real dignity in a way Meghan could only dream of. When Morgan describes Kate showing courage and grace under pressure by appearing so poised and elegant at the croup in the color after chemotherapy, you can see the stark contrast with Meghan's vapid look at me marketing playing out in parallel. It's just so shameless and disrespectful. We all remember those iconic images of Kate in her svelte black and white designer dress, donning a classy fascinator while carrying herself with poise and strength. She looked ever bit the storybook princess, bringing a regality and aura that simply can't be emulated or matched. And she did it with remarkable fortitude against the backdrop of her private cancer struggle. Now that's true courage and selfless service that commands global admiration. Then you have Meghan, once again trying to make everything about her mercantile brand an unquenchable thirst for the spotlight. Posting lame product shots the same day as Kate's brave return is just the height of delusion and narcissism. As Morgan said, does she really need to keep hawking tacky jams and treats in a transparent grab for cash and attention? Have some class and self-awareness for once. Meghan is so intimidated and threatened by how Kate effortlessly eclipses her in regality and public admiration. That's why she incessantly has to one-up Kate or hijack the narrative with cheap stunts whenever the Princess of Wales is featured prominently. It's just so transparent how envious and insecure the former actress is about being a Z-list royal hanger-on. At this point, Meghan has burned so many bridges and alienated so much of the British public that her only move is to keep making desperate gestures for relevancy. She knows she'll never be taken seriously as an actual senior royal, so she defaults to pimping out her little brand with tone-deaf maneuvers, like the jam launch. It's just so sadly cringeworthy. The optics are just killer too. You have the graceful, self-possessed future queen showing such courage in putting duty before her own health struggles. Then you have her petulant, gosh sister-in-law dropping one of her idiotic product lines on the same day in a naked attempt to distract from Kate's shining moment. It's just so on brand for the former yacht girl to be so calculatingly thirsty. No level of PR spin can sanitize how inappropriate and disrespectful Meghan's actions were in this case. It's just utterly lacking in self-awareness and difference to the actual blood royals she is so threatened by. Meghan demands star treatment and top billing. Even when the moment calls for her to take a backseat and pipe down for once, it's just so galling. 
Ultimately, this sorry episode is just the latest data point proving Megan is in permanently unrepentant territory. She will never stop her ravenous efforts to be the center of attention. Even if she has to resort to bargain bin marketing ploys that cheapen the monarchy she so desperately wants to be accepted by. Mark my words, this attention-starved diva will only grow more brazen and unseemingly with her stunts if she's not finally put in her place. She's shown zero ability to read the room or exercise the restraint that royal protocol demands. At this point, she's giving the middle finger to the very institution she is leeching off for her faux regal fame. What's it gonna take? Chopping her head off on the Punjab green? Okay, not literally, but clearly denying her a role and platform that she's proven utterly unfit for is the only remedy here. Megan has spit in the face of the family and established orders she's so coveted for clout. She doesn't deserve the privilege of being in Kate's regal presence after such disrespect. So that's it folks, I'm officially calling for the monarchy to strip Megan of her duchess con artistry grift for good. Relegate her to her hustler's digest circuit that she'd be lucky to get on and let the divinely graceful Catherine carry on bringing poise and honor to the monarchy as the future queen she was born to be. So what do you guys think about it? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.